Hey everyone, we have a new deployment schedule update from Royal Caribbean today. So let's get through our Caribbean year longs for 26 and 27. We are going to talk about Florida, Texas, and Puerto Rico and the Northeast, which I was really excited about it. So let's get into it. y'all john here from bite size cruises welcome to the channel if it's your first time here thanks so much for coming to check us out we are a travel agency We're trying to give you the best information possible about cruising so that you can plan and go on an amazing cruise vacation let's get into deployments so royal caribbean has announced their deployments for 26 27 these are going to be for the northeast and the caribbean so let's get into it a little bit. Florida, we're gonna have Star of the Sea sailing from Port Canaveral, offering year-round seven-night Caribbean adventures, visiting Perfect Day, uh, Roatan, Costa Maya, and more. Costa Maya, soon to be the new Perfect Day, Mexico. Icon of the Sea sailing out of Miami with seven-night Eastern and Western Caribbean getaways, featuring stops at Phillipsburg, St. Thomas, and of course, Perfect Day, Coco Cay. Allure of the Seas got its little $100 million enhancement by then. That is going to be sailing six and eight night Caribbean itineraries featuring Nassau, Labadee, and Aruba. Next up, Adventure of the Seas from Port Canaveral going to be doing, uh, Port Canaveral and Fort Lauderdale going to be doing six and eight night escapes to Costa Maya and Perfect Day. Next up, Enchantment of the Seas out of Tampa. Going to be doing seven-night Western Caribbean cruises to Cozumel, Belize City, and Roatan, uh, including the Royal Beach Club Cozumel in late 2026. That'll be the new beach club there. We also have a new beach club coming to the Bahamas as well. Texas, good old Symphony of the Seas. One of my favorites is going to Texas in uh, Galveston. Going to be doing six- and eight-night Western Caribbean adventures, including Costa Maya, Nassau, and Royal Beach Club Cozumel, which we just talked about. Out of Puerto Rico, San Juan, we are going to be doing Brilliance of the Seas, doing seven nights to Antigua and St. Croix. Radiance of the Seas, year-round uh, out of San Juan now, doing seven night cruises to the Southern Caribbean, including Tortola, Dominica, and more. Uh, northeast, here we go, back up to the Northeast in 2026. I'm slightly disappointed. I'm not going to say I'm really disappointed because I'm, ex I'm always excited when we get another ship up here. I thought it would be another one of the um, Oasis class or something fun and new. Instead, we're getting Oasis of the Seas back up here. That's great. I love Oasis. We will go on it again. From Cape Liberty, offering seven and nine night adventures to the Bahamas, including Perfect Day in Nassau, of course. Odyssey of the, of the Seas again up here this year. It's going to be up here next year and 2026. Seven to 12 nights visiting St. Lucia and Barbados, so doing longer cruises. Independence of the Seas coming up here. It's going to be doing uh, summer voyages, including Bermuda and Eastern Caribbean. And then winter cruises doing the fall foliage and historic landmarks, so Boston and up to Canada. And then, of course, Vision of the Seas from Baltimore again uh, in 2026. Five and nine night trips to Bermuda, the Bahamas, and the fall foliage like Bar Harbor and Halifax. Those are our updated deployments. They should be on sale soon. I checked the Northeast are not on sale just yet. Should be within the next day or so. So there you have it, some new deployments today from Royal Caribbean. We'll talk about it tomorrow on our live stream with our Royal Caribbean rep. Check it out at 7 p.m. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel here and become a part of our awesome cruising community. We do a live stream every Wednesday at 7. I do cruise news for the week live every Sunday morning at 11. And we put out a brand new cruise video every single day. Thanks so much for watching and happy cruising. Bye.